Five lights are on. It's lights out. Away we go. Hamilton gets away well. And he's getting towards Max Verstappen now. He tries to cover him off and pushes him to the left-hand side. Perez is in acres of space as Hamilton on the inside pushes Max Verstappen wide. Can Perez fight back? No, he can't. Hamilton is just ahead of Verstappen. Perez challenging his teammate around turn two. Hamilton leads from Verstappen. Then comes Sergio Perez. And then the Ferrari of Charles Leclerc. Lewis Hamilton got the dream start that he wanted. Three times he's won here from second in the past. He has made a lightning start and leads the race as Carlos Sainz and Daniel Ricciardo tangle the Ferrari and the McLaren almost touching wheels with Lando Norris just behind. Yeah, Sainz on the soft tyres with a decent start, but the initial launch, the reaction time, Hamilton was faster away and Verstappen, try as he might, couldn't do anything about it. Hamilton then leads the US Grand Prix and he's stretching away from Max Verstappen. Perez third, then comes Leclerc and behind him Carlos Sainz under pressure from Danny Ricciardo trying to get in the slipstream but he touched the back of the Ferrari and had to just drop back a bit. There goes Ricciardo, here comes Lando Norris down the inside. It's Ferrari and McLaren, what a battle. Norris on the inside, thought he got the place. Carlos Sainz is pushed wide and still somehow stays ahead of his former teammate. Ricciardo nips on the inside now, Lando Norris to get that place back and it's all happening on lap one here. You'd think it was the last lap of the Grand Prix the way they're going at it but they do know these are the easiest opportunities to make up places and it's a bitter battle between McLaren and Ferrari and look at that what a lovely overtake through 16, 17 and 18 from Daniel Ricciardo. The two Canadians in what is arguably a home race for them. Sandwiched by the pass man. We just yeah, send it from Wick Damage. Coming through uh, turn two on board with Esteban Ocon. He's got the Alpha Tauri of Gasly uh, in front of him. Oh, and it just got clipped there by a very fast starting uh, Alfa Romeo. Not just uh, Kimi Raikkonen, but Antonio Giovinazzi as well. They, they both started well, uh, the two Alphas, up to 11th and 12th, and uh, necessitating a front wing change for the Alpine team. Max Verstappen is coming in then uh, for the undercut on Mercedes. Tyres getting hot. He's decided he doesn't want those hot tyres uh, for any longer. So let's put a set of hards on the car and away we go. And that was a very nice stop. No problems. Very smooth for Verstappen. Hard tyres go on uh, for Hamilton. His stationary time, 2.8 seconds. Max Verstappen now ahead of Hamilton. Fernando Alonso and Kimi Raikkonen as they go wheel to wheel and Raikkonen gets pushed wide and they almost touch and come a cropper at turn one. Raikkonen and Alonso separated uh, by half a millimetre it seemed going through there before Alonso had to back out. We loved this, we loved watching it, they did touch. Yeah, they can't penalise him for that. Bottas trying to get past Yuki Tsunoda. Sonoda goes deep, it's the old switcheroo then from Valtteri Bottas. He allows Sonoda to go deep and says, thank you, I'll just nip in on the inside and I'll take that eighth place from you. Fernando Alonso on Antonio Giovinazzi, under braking, goes way too deep, Fernando. It was a bit optimistic, but you know what? He leaves the track, comes back on the track and still might find himself ahead of that Alfa Romeo, and he does. Fernando Alonso up into 11th. Did he leave the track and gain an advantage or was all fair in that particular battle? Uh, come on, guys. You're the queen. This is how Fernando Alonso gave that place back to Antonio Giovinazzi. I've never seen him go that slowly. Here we go again, Garoud, it's Alonso Giovinazzi, part two, and this time it's Antonio Giovinazzi that is forced wide, and as he comes back on the track, he gives a little shove towards the Alpine, and Alonso, biding his time, gets on the power early, goes a little shove towards Giovinazzi. Does he stay in that 11th place? Yes, the Alfa Romeo does, fighting for his Formula 1 future, the Italian driver, up against Fernando Alonso, who'll definitely be back next season, and he'll definitely start the next lap behind Giovinazzi once again. Again. Then you have to give the position to Alonso. Oh, he pushed me out. Give position back now. No discussion. Give position back. Vettel on the medium tyre. George Russell on the hard compound tyre. Vettel absolutely chomping at the bit to get past George Russell here. Around the outside. Has he made that move stick? He has, you know. Fantastic stuff by Sebastian Vettel as they head left-handed into turn 19. The Aston Martins are heads. 26 laps to go in this race. Verstappen makes his second pit stop. Uh, it's kind of OK, wasn't it? Lewis Hamilton is coming into the pit, so it was target uh, plus, what, another eight. 2.4 seconds. Four tenths quicker than Verstappen and Red Bull. Carlos Sainz 
trying to go the long way round on the outside. And that's where they touched. I got a bit dirty. He did that on purpose, guys. Understood. We're reporting. I don't think it didn't look too blatant to me. Hamilton's going to be on getting DRS within three laps. He's going to be uh, getting the rear wing open and cruising up to the back of this Red Bull, which I'd imagine he'll be treating again like the hind legs of a donkey. There goes Sebastian Vettel, finally clearing Antonio Giovinazzi. He's now chasing after Giovinazzi's teammate, Kimi Raikkonen. Somebody is off in the first sector. It's Kimi Raikkonen, and that has allowed Sebastian Vettel to now move up into the points. So Vettel's charge wasn't in vain. He's got into the points. Can his Haska please go out of the way? Get up to Michael. Yeah, we are on it. Yeah. Telling the moves. Costing him, because he's now in dirty air as well, effectively. And yeah, Mick's not getting out of the way. He should be getting out of the way. He does now. Here we go then. We're heading towards the last lap. Three and a half miles to go here at the Circuit of the Americas. Hamilton has now got DRS, but crucially, so has Verstappen because he was lapping Mick Schumacher. Yeah. And that gives him the chance to lap with the DRS. Verstappen is keeping his cool, he's keeping his calm and composure, and he is keeping the lead as well. His first sector, a tenth up on Lewis Hamilton, it's taken him beyond that DRS threat. While that's been happening, Valtteri Bottas has finally got past Carlos Sainz. Max Verstappen is going to lead and double his advantage in the World Championship for the first time on US soil. Max Verstappen wins the US Grand Prix. Lewis Hamilton has to settle for second. The charge got close, but not quite close enough. The fireworks on track are replaced by fireworks shooting into the air. Verstappen wins at Cota. What a Grand Prix that was. Here, we've locked horns once again, and in the land of the Longhorn, it's the bull that's come out on top this afternoon. See you all, what a day.